What is it, Wendy? There's an island out there, a large island. It's rather a mystery. Hmm, island you say? What island is it? The charts call it Ship Trap Island. Rather suggestive name. Sailors kind of dread it. Some superstition. I can't quite see it. You've got good eyes. But even you can't see through this foggy night. Oh, we'll see ya. Blasted fog? I can't see four yards, let alone four hundred. Don't worry, Rainsford. There'll be plenty of light in Rio. We'll have good hunting in the Amazon. Best sport in the world. For the hunter, not the hunted. Oh, don't get philosophical on me, old boy. You are a hunter, not a philosopher. Who cares how a jaguar feels? Perhaps the jaguar does. Pa, they have no understanding. I'd like to think they have understanding of fear. Everything has fear. Pa. This hot weather, it's made you soft, my old boy. Say, Whitney, have we passed that island yet? I hope so. I don't like this place. Nobody does. Not even the captain. Captain Nielsen? The man who would go himself up to the devil and ask for a light? The captain doesn't like this place. It gives him the chills. You know something, Rainsford? Hmm? It gives me the chills, too. <laughs> Does this place have some sort of bad reputation? Cannibals, perhaps? Even cannibals wouldn't live in a, this awful of a place. I think I'm going to turn in for the night. How about you, Rainsford? Myself? I'm not quite there yet. I believe I'm gonna smoke another bowl. See you at breakfast then. Yep.
small boy, do not be alarmed. I am no robber. I have fallen off of my yacht. I am Sanger Rainsford from New York City. I, I, I am Sanger Rainsford of New York City. It is my great honor to welcome Mr. Sanger Rainsford, the celebrated hunter, to my humble abode. I am General Zara. Uh, <clears throat> you must excuse Ivan. He's a much strong fellow, but I'm afraid he has misfortune to be both deaf and dumb. Is he a Russian? Oh, he's a Cossack. So am I. Ah, but alas, now is not the time for talking. You want food, water, clothes. Please, follow I am. He will show you to a room. This is a place of rest, after all. You'll find that my clothes will fit you, I think. I was about to have dinner. I'll wait for you. We do do our best to preserve human inimities here. I do hope you will forgive me for any lapses you may experience. We are well off the beat track. I hope the wine has not suffered from its long ocean voyage. Ah, oh, not in the least. It's splendid. Perhaps you were surprised that I knew your name. I read your article, uh, the one about hunting tigers in Tibet. I read all hunting articles published in English, French, Russian. I have but one passion in this life, Mr. Rainsford. It is to hunt. Yes. Quite a presentation of heads you've got here. <laughs> oh, yes. That cape buffalo, really, it's the largest I've ever seen. Uh, that fellow, ah, he was a brute, that one. Did he, did he charge you? Held me against a tree. Fractured my skull, that one, but I got the brute. I've always thought the cape buffalo was always the most dangerous of big game. You're wrong, Rainsford. There is more deadly game. There is big game on this island. The biggest, my friend. 
Really? Well, this in here naturally, of course. I have to stalk the island. What have you imported, General? Tigers? Oh, no, no, no. Tigers ceased my interest years ago. No thrill, no danger left to them anymore. I live for danger, Mr. Rainsford. Shall some capital hunting, you and I. I'll be most glad to have your society. I will tell you, he will be most amused. I have created a new sensation, a new a new thrill, Mr. Rainsford. Oh really? May I pour you another glass of wine, Rainsford? Oh, by all means. Mr. Rainsford, go ahead and make some men poets. Make some beggars, make some kings. Me? He made me a hunter. My hand was made for the trigger. Father gave me a gun at age five. And I shot his prized turkeys with it. Instead of scolding me, he complimented me on my aim. Since then, I've done many things. I've joined the army, but none of them have ever quenched my thirst for hunting. It is a, an unparalleled feeling, Mr. Rainsford. Surely you have felt it. My whole life has been one blow along to hunt. It would be impossible for me to tell you all of the animals that I have hunted. After the debacle in Russia, I departed the country as pointless for me to stay there any longer. You see, I invested quite heavily in American qualities. Because of that, I shall never have to open a tea room in Monte Carlo or drive a taxi in Paris. Naturally, I continue to hunt. Grizzlies in the Rockies, crocodiles in the Ganges, and also races in East Africa. It was in Africa that that cared buffalo hit me and laid me up for six months. And after that, I headed to the Amazon Heard the Jaguars were cunning there. They weren't. They're no match for a high-powered rifle and a hunter with his wits. I was bitterly disappointed. Lying in my tent with a splitting headache one night when a terrible thought pushed its way into my mind. Hunting was beginning to bore me, Mr. Rainsford. And hunting has been my whole life. I heard that in America, Businessmen often go to pieces whenever they give up what has been their whole life. Yes, that is so. I had no wish to go to pieces. I had to do something. My mind is an analytical mind, Mr. Rainsford. It's why I enjoy the problems of hunt. No doubt, General Zaroff. So I went and asked myself, why does hunting bore me now? You are much younger hunter than I am, Mr. Rainsford, but surely you can guess the answer. And that is? Simply this. Hunting has ceased to be what you call a sporting proposition. There's no fun in it anymore. I always get my quarry. Mr. Rainsford, there was no greater bore than perfection. Animals are no match for me. That is no boast, it is a mathematical certainty. An animal is nothing more than its four legs and instinct to make it survive. It's no match for man and his reason. When I thought of this, it was a tragic moment for me indeed. It came to me as an, almost as an inspiration. This is what I must do. And that 
was. It's quite simple, really. I had to invent a new animal to hunt. A new animal? You're joking. I never joke about hunting, Mr. Rainsford. But I did find that animal. When I came to this island, I built this house. And here is where I do my hunting. This place is perfect. It's hills, swamps, forests. But the animal! General Zaroff. Oh, it is perfect. It's the ideal prey. Now, I finally have something that can match my wits. Never has there been a day where I had been bored hunting on this island. I wanted the ideal quarry to hunt, so I asked myself what attributes should it obtain. So I thought to myself it should have courage, strength, but above all, reason. No animal can reason. <laughs> oh, my dear fellow, there is one that can. Certainly, you don't mean... Then why not? I can't believe you're serious, General Zaroff. This is a grisly joke. Why should I not be serious? I speak of hunting. Hunting? Hunting? Great guns, Zaroff! What you speak of is murder! <laughs> oh, I refuse to believe that such a young and modern civilian such as yourself should harbor such romantic ideals such as the value of human life. Surely, your experiences in the war... Do not make me condone cold-blooded murder! How extraordinarily droll you are, Mr. Rainsford. I'd hardly expect to find nowadays a man in an educated class to have such a naive point of view. It's obvious that you have Puritan ancestors, so many Americans do. But uh, you will forget these notions when you come hunting with me tomorrow. You've a genuine new film store for you, Mr. Rainsford. Thank you, but I am a hunter, not a murderer. Again with that unpleasant word. But I think I can show you that your ideals are ill-founded, Mr. Rainsford. Yes. Life is for the strong, Mr. Rainsford, to be lived by the strong and, if need be, taken by the strong. I am strong. Why should I not use these gifts that I have? If I wish to hunt, why should I not? I have the scum of this earth. Sailors, Americans, Chinese, Russians, Germans, I have them all. But they are all men! Precisely. That's why I use them. They can reason, to an extent. That makes them dangerous. But where do you get them? Well, this island is, after all, called Ship Trap Island. You see, Rainsford, sometimes a mighty god of the sea brings them to me. And other times, luck does. But when luck runs short, I help them out a little bit. Come to the window with me. Uh, watch up there. See you. What exactly? They indicate a channel where there is none. Then the boats come and crash upon the rocks. They slice open ships like I slash open this light. Oh, uh, yes, we have electricity here. We try to be civilized. Civilized? Civilized? You murder these people! Hi. What a righteous young man you are. But I assure you, I don't do these things you accuse me of. That would be barbaric. All the men that come to this island, I treat with dignity and respect. I give them food, water, shelter. I train them so they are in peak physical condition. You will see tomorrow when you visit the academy. What do you mean? My academy, my training school. It's in the basement. Uh, my friend, Ivan, trains them. 
The rather an inferior lot, I regret to say, the Spaniards who are unlucky enough to fall into the depths of my channel. Ah, uh, but alas. Come, have some crepes, you said. It is a game, you see. I give them a life, food, and I set them off. I give them the three hours head start. After that, I come after them with a pistol of the smallest caliber, give them the best chance. If for three days he eludes me, he wins the game. If not, he loses. Suppose he refuses to be hunted. Well, he's given the choice, of course. Either they choose to hunt, or I turn them over to Iron. He had the pleasure once as serving as the torturer for the great white czar. After seeing Iron, <laughs> most choose to hunt. And if they win, Well, to date, I have not lost. I hope you don't take me as a braggart, Mr. Rainsford. Most of my prey are elementary, uh, sad to say. Occasionally, though, I do come upon a gem. One escaped me for two days. I had to set the dogs on him. The dogs? Oh, yes, come with me. Rather a fine lot, if I do say so myself. Every day at seven I let them out to, to feast. And anyone who tries to make it in, or rather out of my chateau here. And now, if you wish to accompany me, I will show you my new collection of heads in the library. Come, come. Um, if you don't mind, General, I think I might turn in a bit early tonight. Oh? Do uh, excuse my impoliteness. No, no, I, I understand. You had quite a journey here. Do not worry. We shall go hunting tomorrow. better after that good night's sleep. <sighs> Can't say the same for myself. <sighs> Last night I detected traces of my old complaint. Oldham. <sighs> Hunting was not good last night. The old man lost his head. Ran in a straight line the whole way. That's the problem with these sailors. They make the most stupid mistakes. Although, you must admit, that aren't the smartest of the bunch. It's so annoying. Would you like some more wine, Mr. Redsman? Generals are off. I wish to leave this island at once. But you've only just arrived. You have not had the experience of hunting. Generals are off. I wish to leave today. Come tonight, Rainsford. You and I shall hunt. No, General. I will not. If that is what you wish, Rainsford. But I must say, the choice rests entirely on you. I do think you'll find my idea of sport a little more entertaining than items. Surely you, you don't 
mean? Oh, my dear fellow, have I not told you before that I never joke about hunting? Ah, should be a great hunt. I drink to the man who can battle me and my wits. At last, I shall experience the true thrill of the hunt. You'll find, Rainsford, that this game is worth playing. Your brain against mine. Your wits against mine. Your strength and stamina against mine. A game of outdoor chess. The stakes are not for that value. And if I win, then I shall cheerfully acknowledge the fact that I have been defeated. If I do not find you by midnight of the third day, you will be allowed to leave on but one condition. That you must never speak of your encounter here, so I may remain here and hunt. I'll agree to nothing of the kind. Oh, my good fellow, we don't have to discuss this now. Why not three days from now? We can talk about it over a while of... Well, unless, of course, uh... Ivan will supply you with hunting clothes, food, a knife. I suggest you wear moccasins to leave a polar trail. I suggest, too, that you avoid the big swamp to the southeast corner of the island. We call it Death Swamp. There's quicksand there. One foolish fellow tried it. The deplorable part is he took my best hunting dog with him. I shall not fail to dog. Hunting at night is so more exciting than by day, don't you think? Au revoir, Mr. Winston. Au revoir.
<laughs> I congratulate you. Not many people know how to make a Malay man catch here. But unfortunately for you, I too have hunted in Malacca. I'm leaving now to address my wound. Just a slight one. But I will be back. Thank you for a most entertaining evening. I will be back. you are, I congratulate you. Your Burmese tiger fit has claimed one of my best hunting dogs. Once again, you score. But let's see how well you do against my entire pack. I'm going home for the night for a rest. I'll see you tomorrow.
shall be sleeping in this magnificent bed while the loser gets fed to the dogs. On guard, Rainsford. Fuck it!
Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. It's in there. I don't know if I should actually. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to keep it. Just keep it. I thought you were supposed to film him. I had. Are you okay? Uh, one more time. I am innocent! Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious that you have keratin ads. What are you doing? I am strong. Why should I not? I missed a uh, pot. What was the. What am I supposed to say? See what? Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, Rainsford. There'll be plenty of light in Rio. I forgot. <laughs> Did you want me to say it again? Yeah, yeah, oh. sorry. This place gives the captain... Oh, that one, right? The captain doesn't like this place. Gives him the chills. You know something, Rainsford? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> gives you the chills too. Oh yeah, it gives me the chills too. Do I talk first? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yes, but... Oh, I am Sangford of New... Ha <laughs> <laughs> Sangford. <laughs> oh boy. I am Sanger Rainsford. Sang... I am... S oh wait, no, he says that last. Okay. Whoa, 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 boy. I am no robber. I am Sangford. Ah, my. I have fallen off my yacht. That's not it. But you've merely just arrived. This is really young, man. Give me a second. <laughs> I looked at the camera because I was like. And if I win. 